A year ago, I created the Darth Jar Jar universe, which you can watch pinned in the comments. In this fan fiction story, Jar Jar revealed himself to Sidious as a secret Sith Lord that waited in the shadows. Now, once he saw an opportunity, he destroyed Sidious and he used the Grand Vizier Masamita to promote himself from Senator of Naboo to Emperor of the Galaxy, a Gungan that not only worked closely with Palpatine and helped him achieve emergency powers, but hailed from the same planet as Palpatine, which was Naboo. Now Vader returned from his mission, refusing to join Jar Jar. For Vader, when Sidious died, it was now over. The full story is quite intriguing, so please watch these two videos for a more detailed version. But to jump ahead, Vader escaped Jar Jar's wrath and retreated to the Jedi Temple to collect as many information and valuables as possible. It was at this time that Jar Jar realized he had no enemy. The Empire had wiped out the Jedi and the Separatists. It was now time for a new enemy. A radical former Jedi that needed an army. And that's why, intentionally, Emperor Jar Jar called an outright frustrated clone commander, Cody. Yes, my lord. Commander Cody, I have a mission for you. A meeting with your old friend inside the Jedi Temple. Jar Jar told Cody about everything. The man they called Vader that had attacked the Jedi Temple together with the 501st was a renegade Jedi, a man he knows all too well. Darth Vader was Anakin Skywalker. Needless to say, Cody was shocked and in disbelief. He heard that Anakin had died in the Jedi Temple attack defending it, but the new Emperor told of Palpatine's lies. General Skywalker was alive and went scouring in inside the ruins of the temple. Jar Jar sent Cody to contact Vader and see if he could reason with him. Records show that Anakin was closer to Cody. Other than the now lost Captain Rex, Cody was the next best thing. The clone commander agreed and headed there immediately, but Jar Jar knew what will unfold in the end. A frustrated Cody would be lured by Darth Vader with a promise of better days for Cody and all the other clones. These two joining forces would be key for Emperor Binks. Finally, he could sell a new threat to the galaxy. A former Jedi and his angry clone had joined forces against the Empire. This was the first time Cody had seen the carnage that unfolded inside the temple. But alas, he heard something from the library. We cut inside the Jedi Temple. Going deeper, we now approach the Jedi Library. Suddenly, we see Vader approach a side of the building where the Empire sent a message to his past Jedi brethren after Order 66. He noticed it was tampered with, and then he opens it. General Skywalker. When Emperor Binks told me that, that you had survived, I, I couldn't believe it. Skywalker is dead, Cody. And so is the Jedi Order. How long before the clone army will die as well? Cody and the rest looked at each other. Come now, Commander. The war is over. The Republic is gone. There is nothing for you now. Sooner or later, you will all die with the rest. Why not send Commander Fox, my lord? Their team is much ruthless, and surely they could deal with Vader. No, Amida. You have to think larger, more long term. 
How was Sidious able to gain complete control? Fear. Precisely. However, there is only one problem. My empire has no separatist threat for now. I see. Your plan is to let Vader escape and amass an army of his own? This way you can sell it to the Senate and the public that a powerful Jedi defector has sworn to destroy the Empire. Fear, Amida. That is how I plan to expand my empire. Sidious started it, but now I will finish it. Join me, Cody. I promise to return the glory of the Republic. No more will the clones stand guard at some unknown station in the corner of the galaxy. I assume that's what they did to you. Yes, sir. They posted me on Camino for weeks. Rain. All day. Every day. I assume so. Come, Cody. Call up your squad. Inform every clone that is tired of this pathetic empire that we will rule the galaxy together. Cody, stand down. By the orders of the Emperor, that monster is dangerous and armed, and we need to take him down now. At that moment, Cody took a moment for himself. He then looked at his squad. No, Fox. Not today. Cody. Blaster fire starts an impending standoff between the Coruscant Guard and Cody's squad, but for Vader, it was simple. A lightsaber throw goes straight for Fox and decapitates him. The rest of the Coruscant Guard fought hard, but Cody and the rest dealt them huge losses, and they ultimately had to retreat as reinforcements were not coming. Now Cody pledged full allegiance to Vader, the new Sith Lord. You can imagine what happened next. He took an entire army of clone defectors. The Empire was an abomination in their eyes and Vader played right into that emotion. He rallied the troops. He was one of them now. After organizing his new movement, Darth Vader moved his organization to none other than the planet Mustafar. With that, he decreed himself as the first king of the newly formed Sith Kingdom. Long live King Vader, proclaimed the clones. A new age has dawned. The age of King Vader. The sad part was that no one really knew who was pulling the string. Part 3 of the Darth Jar Jar story will be coming very soon, I've just finished the scripts and similar stories to this sprinkled around it so that I can enrich this dark universe even further for you guys. There's no good guys to be seen around, it's bad guy against bad guy. Of course tell me your thoughts down below in the comments, thank you guys so much for watching this video, expect a lot more, I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you until then.